Hey guys, it's Bro Wax. So yesterday I made a video talking about the problems with Junkrat mains and pretty much just addressing the problems, right? That was really just geared towards the people that are wanting to main Junkrat or wanting to play Junkrat on a more consistent basis because, well, he's a brand new hero, he got new changes, and I wouldn't say he's taking over the meta, but he's one of those heroes that you kind of see on a more consistent basis now where I'm back in Season 5 or Season 4 or pretty much for any competitive games, especially at the higher ranks, you really wouldn't see because there was a lot of counters. But the thing that people aren't really understanding is that the counters never really went anywhere even though he got a few little itsy bitsy changes so for this video I really wanted to just directly address the problems with the solutions by giving you guys the counter list with some obvious counters some low-key counters but also on top of that some heroes that you want to try to avoid because it's not like Junkrat doesn't also counter someone because there's a few heroes that he's really good against that I want to address in this video because there's gonna be a time eventually where there's actually a, an amazing drunk like a like a grandmaster a top 500 Junkrat one year in gold tier whatever the case may be and you're not gonna know what to do how to deal with him because I can't tell you how many games I've been in where there was like a god Sombra or, or a god Junkrat or a god May or something and we're just sitting there it's like I don't know what to do what do we do how do we counter this so that's what this video is supposed to do is to supposed to shine lights on the obviously the obvious counters to the hero because well it's not like they went anywhere but also some low-key counters because you might not be able to play some of these heroes but you might be better with maybe some of the low-key counters maybe someone already on your team is already playing the obvious counter so now if you pick this hero, now you're just doubling your chances of being able to counter this Junkrat. But also, what you should watch this video for too, if you are a Junkrat main, the problems that are gonna come from this video, from people watching this. So, some people are gonna hate me for making this list of, like, the counters for Junkrats, but the thing is, these counters were around since season freaking one. So, I don't know why you're crying at me saying, oh man, now I'm not gonna be able to. You're still gonna be able to, now you just have to play smart and get ready to switch. So, uh, I, let's get ready with this video, there's a lot to talk about and a lot of details I need to go into. So first, let me explain Junkrat as a hero and really set up a scenario of where he kind of excels at because if I just set up how Junkrat is quote unquote supposed to work, which by the way, I never say that one hero is supposed to be played in one certain way. No, there's many different ways that you can play them, but I feel like in Junkrat's case, he kind of excels in one certain type of situation and if I explain that, then it'll kind of show why these counters work so well against him. So Junkrat is kind of like a weird hero where he can still do great at range because you've always seen the memes, especially with like Dunkey and whatnot, where you don't even have to look at the enemy and you can still get kills, right? You just have to fire the grenades at an arc and boom, 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 you get some kills right there. But the thing is that even though that is like a, a thing that you can't do with Junkrat, it's not the most effective way. Junkrat really does better when he's like two inches away from you. He should be able to smell what you had for breakfast, you should be able to know what deodorant you use, all that kind of good stuff because with his grenades, they're uncontrollable. Once you fire it, you have no control over it and they're very inconsistent. That's what I kind of hate about him is that you really don't have any control after you fire that. Sure, some people are able to like lead their shots and kind of predict the movements and whatnot but once you fire that you have to rely on impact because that's the only way that they explode or you have to wait a couple of seconds and then they explode so really the first statement was kind of incorrect so really what I'm trying to say here is that you a junk is supposed to be played very up close to people right because that's where the the grenades have a better chance of meeting but also on top of that is his concussion mind so this is something that you again you don't have to be very up close but again he just excels if you're two inches away because he has more control of where you're gonna be moving and also when he's going to be able to detonate it because if he's just kind of throwing C4 praying to Jeff Kaplan saying oh please let me be able to get the C4 kill he's he doesn't have control of the situation this really isn't supposed to be a tip video of how to play Junkrat but this is kind of setting up of where counters are going to be at so a smart Junkrat is going to be very up close where he's going to be able to have more control over, over his damage and being able to secure kills so that little spiel that I had about Junkrat sets up the scenario for some obvious counters to him which is going to be ranged heroes because range is usually going to beat him usually that's the key word because yes you can still kill a lot of heroes if you're 50 feet away even though it's pretty unlikely but the thing is range is usually going to be Junkrat so the first obvious counter is going to be Farah I always say this whenever I'm talking about Junkrat Farah is going to beat him not only because you have range but also because you're in the sky Junkrat did not pass basic physics he doesn't understand how arcing works he doesn't understand how gravity works or anything like that so if you're high in the sky and also far away and you're shooting down rockets. Granted, you don't have as much control over them as, say, a hitscan hero, but at least now you're at a sky and you're a much better advantage than if you replace someone who's up close and personal. So Farah is an obvious, pretty much go-to counter, if they, especially if they don't have a Soldier 76 or a McCree or a Zenyatta on the other team. So really look at the scenario, look at the enemy team, see what counters you also, and then make that switch. And this is also for if there's if the Junkrat's kind of carrying the enemy team and really doing a lot of damage. But the next obvious counter 
counter kind of goes against all that I've said when it comes to range because Zarya is another obvious counter that is so great and the reason why not a lot of pros play Junkrat is because well remember how I said Junkrat's grenades aren't controllable like it's an obvious thing but that's the reason why Zarya is so great he, she sees like three grenades she self bubbles boom absorbs all that damage tells hey soldier can you run into the grenades I'm gonna bubble you so I can get charged so that's the biggest reason why Zarya is so great is because well if there's a Junkrat well she's just gonna be able to absorb all that damage get so much charge be able just to not only kill the junk rats once she also gets another self bubble but also kill other heroes too like a Zenyatta like a diva like was anybody literally that's why Zarya is so great and I know these seem like some obvious counter picks and like Dobro you I kind of already knew that but I always make the metaphor like okay but you already know how to talk to your crush do you know how to do that when it comes down to it do you know how to act like yourself no you don't need to do it but this is a reminder to show you why these heroes are so great and why they're like obvious counters because well they're at range or they can absorb all the uncontrollable damage that Junkrat brings to them. So the next heroes are going to be the low-key counters. The reason why I call them low-key is because they're not going to directly counter the Junkrat per se, more or less they're just going to help the main counters. And what I mean by the main counters, it doesn't mean that Farah and Zarya are the only main counters. And no, if you know how to play another hero, go ahead by all means, but for the main audience that I'm kind of directing this video towards, uh, Farah and Zarya are going to be your main counters. But for the low-key counters, maybe you don't know how to play Zarya and Farah, or maybe someone already is on your team playing those two heroes, or more maybe both of those heroes. And these are the heroes that you want you to go to because maybe you also excel these heroes. So the first hero is going to be D.Va. There's a lot of reasons why and remember how I said she's not going to be directly countering or killing him even though she still can and more or less just helping them because one you have the defense matrix. I am aware that the changes are coming pretty soon where she only has two seconds. Nonetheless though you still have that defense matrix to kind of absorb the uncontrollable grenades and also you have 600 HP. Okay so it's 400 HP 200 armor for all you nerds out there but you get what I'm trying to say. He's pumping out so much DPS that if you can kind of absorb all that well then you can give your mercy ultimate charge and boom you have a res right there just because they keep feeding that mercy ultimate charge and the next one is because you can fly out of this so remember how i said wrench can be uh, junkrat 10 times out of 10 obviously if you're 20 feet away from junkrat you're not going to be doing as much damage than if you're two inches away as diva but at least this way you can get out of there and if you're in a salty situation which is a lot of the time in competitive but that's why diva is so great especially against junkrat just she's not going to be killing him per se the next hero is going to be a, a weird low-key counter because he can still get demolished by Junkrat, but this is mainly for all the, the pro Genjis out there because, well, you can easily dive a Junkrat even though he kind of has more mobility, but if you're able just to instantly kill him with your stars, your dash, deflect, which he can deflect 120 freaking damage to Junkrat, then you're kind of going to be in a good spot because, well, you're a pro Genji, but the only thing you have to look out for is the bear trap. Luckily, if you're jumping and you're climbing and whatnot, you're not going to be too worried about it, but look at, uh, look at Genji to try to counter Junkrat because he might not be the greatest counter because he still has some weaknesses against them, but he's not the worst. And the last low-key counter, which can even still be a main counter in my opinion, which is going to be Soldier Sinew 6. So if you're great with your hit scans and if you're great at range, which you should be, especially with Soldier and especially against Junkrat, because remember, usually range is going to beat Junkrat, then you have really no problem because, well, even though he still has high mobility, he's not a fast hero. So you shouldn't really have too much problem killing Junkrat, especially if you get on high buildings like King's Row or Temple or whatever the case may be. Look down on Junkrat, boom, 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 kill him right there. It's again, it can still be a main counter, but I'm kind of listing him as a low key counter because uh, he still has the high mobility factor, just a very slow hero when it comes to Junkrat. So I talked about the counters for Junkrat. Now let me talk about the heroes to avoid, which so many people can argue, oh, you shouldn't play this hero and whatnot. You can really look at any hero and say that, say, oh, you shouldn't play this hero against Junkrat because of this, this, and that. But really, when it comes down to it, a hero like Reaper, even though he's not the worst hero to play against them, really, when it comes down to it, is that you both have to be very very up close. Remember how I said Junkrat is going to excel when you're very up close? Yes, you still excel at Reaper, but this is a type of situation where if you have a god like Junkrat and you're trying to counter him, why are you going to switch to Reaper? There are much better counters than Reaper, especially if you have to be very up close because if they're just going to spam a grenade and then spam a, a, another grenade and then a C4 or a concussion mine, I always call it a C4, then you're going to die right there. And plus also his passive ability where he drops those mines, all five of them, you're already up close. If you're down like to 10 HP and you die by those, that counter is kind of useless. So that's one kind of hero you want to avoid because there's just other better counters. But also another hero, which is kind of in a, a weird spot similar to Genji, is going to be Tracer. You might think, oh, well, Tracer is a great hero because she's so fast, you know, shoot him in the head. But the thing is, if she gets caught in the bear trap, you, which you would be so surprised how many times a Tracer gets caught in the bear trap. First of all, she takes damage from that. And also just one simple grenade to the, to the body, boom, she, she's dead because she has 150 
150 HP. So be very careful. If you're a pro tracer, be very, very careful. Be aware of your surroundings, mainly for the bear trap, and you should be good to go. And that was just a rundown of a few heroes that you can try to use when going against a Junkrat, because I guarantee you, you're going to run into a game where a Junkrat is totally carrying the enemy team, and you don't know what to do. Hopefully, I shine light on a few heroes. I don't want to look at every single hero, because everyone could make the argument, oh, this hero is so great, or this hero is so bad. So really, I just kind of gave a general basis of what you should try to use when going against him. So I love you guys. I thank you guys for watching more Overwatch videos to come, and bye.